Hi, I'm Alexander, and I'll be talking about a linking invariant that I've developed to improve truss robot motion planning. Truss robots are parallel robot systems consisting of linearly actuated members that are connected together at nodes to form a rigid truss. This slide shows some of the hardware we have been developing in the GRASP lab at Penn, which you can see in the exhibition hall if you're here in person. However, the work in this presentation applies more generally to arbitrary truss robot topologies for general truss robot systems, which include things like variable geometry trusses, modular parallel robots, tensegrity robots, and other similar systems. Truss robots can morph into different shapes, but they have complicated collision constraints that can make it quite difficult to generate collision-free motion plans. With these two configurations, for example, I happen to know that a path exists between them. So I can run a standard sampling-based planner, and I might find a path like this. But in general, it's very unlikely that I would pick two points that have this property. This is because the configuration spaces of these type of robots tend to be highly disconnected. For example, this robot, which has the same topology as on the previous slide, has over 25,000 different disconnected regions in configuration space. This is because there are a vast number of ways that the edges of the truss can be inextricably tangled up. If you were to sample two configurations at random, the chance that they would be connected is less than 3%. Sampling-based planners are not very good at identifying these cases when a path doesn't exist, so we would like to find a different way to determine if two configurations are likely to have a collision-free path between them. Our approach is to take some inspiration from knot theory and find an invariant of the truss robot. An invariant is some abstract mathematical quantity you can evaluate for a given robot configuration. It has the property that if you make any collision-free robot motion, it doesn't change the value of the invariant. The invariant we developed is what we call the link augmented graph. I'll show you how to construct this graph using a simplified example truss. First, we view the truss robot as a spatial graph, which is the generalization of knots and links. This means we no longer care about the precise locations of each point, rather we only care about how the edges pass over and under each other. We take that spatial graph and find every subgraph that corresponds to a link diagram. We then analyze each link diagram to see if and how it's linked, and then store each result as a graph. Finally, we combine those graphs with the original graph to create the link augmented graph. If you do this procedure for two different robot configurations, and the resulting graphs are isomorphic, then it's likely that there's a collision-free path between them. If the results are not isomorphic, there is certainly no path. Typically, we put the graph into a canonical form to make it easier to compare. We tested this technique on several different truss topologies, and found that it can effectively eliminate the majority of configuration pairs that have no path between them. This graph is much faster to compute compared to running a probabilistic planner, so we can use it in conjunction with such a planner to greatly improve the overall performance. We present more detailed results and performance comparisons in the paper, and we also discuss how to use the link augmented graph to determine whether you can find a path by relabeling the nodes. I should mention that the link augmented graph is not a complete invariant. There are disconnected regions that it fails to distinguish. In the paper, we discuss some ways that we can improve this invariant to make it stronger for future work. Thanks for listening.